Elise Kerkorian, member of the National Student Nurse Association Board of Directors and a chair of the NSNA Population and Global Health Committee. I am a BSN student entering my junior year at Penn State University. Thank you for inviting the NSNA to offer the insights of nursing students about the future of nursing. Established in 1952, NSNA has 60,000 pre-licensure student members. There is a movement around the globe to establish the nursing profession as a major influencer and contributor to global health. The Nursing Now campaign is evidence that those who support the nursing profession recognize the need to have nurses on board for the global goal of universal health coverage. UHC means that all individuals and communities receive the health services they need without suffering financial hardship including the full spectrum of essential health services. Nursing students graduate without ever hearing about UHC in their education, just as they have learned nothing about healthcare financing. New graduates enter the workplace without understanding where their salaries are coming from. In pre-licensure nursing education, I believe that there is a lack of connection between the social determinants of health and how healthcare is actually delivered. For example, there is a lack of awareness about the complexity of adverse childhood events, ACEs. This is something I have learned about in non-nursing classes, and here again there is a failure to break this information of how ACEs such as physical, verbal, and sexual abuse, physical and emotional neglect, impact the health of populations throughout lifetimes. Learning about the disparities and inequities that individuals and populations experience influences how we assess and address health and how we can create a healthier future. It is exciting to see many people focusing on diet and nutrition to improve health. However, many people and families continue to eat diets high in carbs and bad fats because they may lack the resources to improve their nutrition and or they are victims of fast food advertising. As seen in a study by Cancer Research UK, being more familiar with marketing campaigns for fast food chains was linked with an increased likelihood of eating unhealthy food and gaining weight across all ages and genders. The study also found those from deprived backgrounds have the most to gain from regulation of junk food ads. As nurses, we have the power to teach about healthy diets, but again, there is we need to bridge the gap in education on how this healthier lifestyle can be achieved. One priority that the future of nursing may want to focus on is climate health. The Lancet, Britain's premier health journal, calls climate change the biggest global health threat of the 21st century. We have known about the inequities of local environmental impacts, and now we face a much broader, multifaceted threat to health as the environment is rapidly evolving. This evolution will impact animal and plant life as well as water and weather systems. Research is needed now to determine how nurses and other professionals will manage the complex comfort and care of people sickened by climate change. Innovation in the preservation of life impacted by altercations in the environment is an area that nurse scientists working on interdisciplinary teams will need to focus their studies. The Alliance of Nurses for Healthy Environments and the Nursing Collaborative on Climate Change and Health are working to educate nurses about the impacts of climate change and NSNA is engaged in this work. The future of nursing research study must also examine how all nursing education should prepare the next generation to focus on complex population and global health issues. Nursing has a leadership role to play in every one of the sustainable development goals, social determinants of health, and health inequities. Adding topics such as healthcare financing, ACEs, nutrition education, and climate change to pre-licensure nursing education using systems theory is a step in the direction of improving public health. I am a next generation nurse. I want an education that will not only prepare me for safe nursing practice, but that teaches me the leadership skills I will need to make real change in the healthcare and create a culture of health for all. Thank you.